In overseas trading, gold futures hit a two-month high at $1,990, just $10 shy of $2,000 per ounce, but swiftly sold off once trading in New York opened. This was based on dollar strength, and that was based on the jobless claims report that was released today, showing that new claims for unemployment has fallen since last week, touching its lowest level in two months. Ultimately, it was dollar strength that took gold lower today with marginal buying, much different from silver sell-off that included selling pressure as well as dollar strength. Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. It is 2 o'clock in Honolulu, 8 o'clock in New York on Thursday, 20th day of July, 2023 and this is the daily report for gold and silver traders gold is lower today by eight dollars and seventy cents with the most active august contract currently fixed at nineteen hundred seventy two dollars and ten cents as we spoke about over the last couple of trading days gold has absolutely found technical resistance at nineteen hundred and eighty dollars that is the thirty eight point two percent fib retracement with potential support at approximately nineteen sixty to nineteen sixty four the fifty and one hundred day moving average since it is clear that it's all about dollar strength over the last few days, even if it does trade higher from this price point, I would look for gold to stall. I would look for gold to stall anywhere between 1980 and today's high that came in at 1990. If it continues to move lower, I would look at around 1960 for potential support. Dollar strength continues to grow as we just spoke about in gold up 0.56% with the index back over 100 at 100.55. A sizable upside move in the dollar after hitting a bottom first on Friday of last week and then just two days ago, the lowest value before climbing up. It was also a doji. Yesterday, we had a solid move and then a large green candle today. Noteworthy also is the fact that the 100-day moving average crossed below the shorter-term 50-day. In terms of technical resistance, I look at this bottom here that comes in at 101.50. I would expect that we could see the dollar move higher in the coming weeks. Silver also had a dramatic decline, giving up approximately 43 cents with the most active September contract breaking below $25 at $24.95. Silver also sold off harshly, as we talked about at the beginning of the show. It was a combination of selling pressure as well as dollar strength. In terms of levels we want to watch for potential support, I would say right around $24.50, just below the 50-day moving average, and $24.25, the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement. If there is further selling pressure, that would be the price points I would look at to enter long positions after confirming support has been found. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.